Who out there is looking forward to getting a haircut, or getting your nails done, or even getting a new tattoo? As barber shops, hair salons, and tattoo parlors all reopen, Ocean County residents are getting excited about getting back into the beauty salon, the barber shop, getting a new tattoo, and the business owners are just as excited to see their clients again. The financial sting has been felt in Nia Sofia's salon on Route 37 in Tom's River, but owner Christina Monagos is confident they'll be able to make up for lost time. We are going to make it back. We won't maybe make what we lost back, but we will come back to the top again. Our clients, we've thrived off of running a business that was the coffee shop meets New York City luxury, and we, I think, will just take that and carry on, and we'll make back what we lost. Paige Principato, a hairstylist at Heads or Nails Salon on Lacey Road in Forked River, says they're providing time and space for clients getting their hair or nails done while ensuring health and safety. All the clients have their own she personal tools and everything now. Um, for hair, we're, uh, we're actually booking a like, little more time and we're not overbooking, so it's the client's appointment is, is their appointment. Um, we are actually sanitizing in between each client. At Tailored Barber on Fisher Boulevard in Tom's River, owner Bobby Minagos explains that the loyal clients they have will help in overcoming the financial impact to the barber shop. I think we'll be fine in time, um, especially with, again, the loyalty of our clients. He is willing to do whatever it takes to stay open and make sure everyone feels safe. Anything they give us, I'll take. You know, if it's a shield, if it's a mask, you know, if I got to wear a, you know, a jumpsuit, whatever you got to give me, I'll do it just to come back. Rich Bazzanella, the owner of Hot Rod Inkin on Ocean Gate Avenue in Ocean Gate, says that they lost a lot of money while being closed, but they've otherwise held on okay, being aided by a small business loan. And as long as things keep trending in a positive direction, they'll see a boost in business. I think people are willing to come back, and I think they're definitely, you know, going to come back. So, you know, as long as it doesn't have a second wave and we don't have to close again, you know, I think we're going to be fine. You know, everyone's really anxious to get tattooed and it's, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're already booked right back up to where we were. So, you know, besides this three month gap, you know, we're going to, we're going to be fine. Ocean County residents are looking forward to getting a haircut, their nails done, or getting a new tattoo. For Jose, heading in for a tattoo is his way of de-stressing. To be honest with you, it's my therapy. So it's been a while, so this is my therapy session for me. Paul is relieved to be back in the barber shop getting a haircut again after what's felt like four or five months. It feels great to be in the chair. It's going to feel even better in like, I don't know, half hour when I get all this off. And uh, it won't feel like I'm wearing a wool hat anymore. Melissa explains that it's a great feeling to be back in the salon again. It's probably one of the most incredible feelings of all time. I come was coming once a week for probably six years. So to be home, and I was very pregnant, to be home for three months and not be able to have the same services was little difficult, but you know, I'm sure people had it worse. So I don't want to complain too much. It's okay to get excited about getting a haircut again. I know I am or getting your nails done or a new tattoo, but make sure you're using common sense and being safe. Stay home if you're not feeling well, whether it's COVID related or not, not just for your health, but for everybody else around you so that everybody can be safe and healthy. Enjoy your new haircuts, your new nails and your new tattoos, everybody. In Ocean County, I'm Vin Ebenu for the Town Square News Network.